Nah, man, kids are kids are crazy. Like, I, well, cause you have no boundaries yet. I think we were talking about this earlier, just you and me, where um, you know, toddlers are. That's why I don't trust you know, toddlers with cats. Idea. Yeah, I know. Toddlers with cats because cats are very you know, it's about respect mm -hmm. and you know, um, personal space, and toddlers don't really recognize that, and that's how I almost got my eye scratched out by a cat because yeah, I cornered sure it and like... tried to pet it because I was like, it, with toddlers, it's like, I want this and I want it now. And you don't understand that, like, especially with cats, you know, they're not, they're like, they don't take stuff like dogs. Yeah, they yeah, won't yeah just dogs, take you it. could literally, like, I love the things like, like dogs, you could literally tackle a dog and it's like, F oh, yes, this yeah. is awesome. Like, but yeah. cats are like, if you try to do that, you will be a, the receiving yeah. end of a saw blade. Well, that's the thing is, uh, that's what I like about cats is that they're very much their own person. And this is why I'm like, you know, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love dogs, but you know, they kind of give anybody, <laughs> they're, they're kind of hoes. Uh, they give anybody their attention and affection just because you're a human. But with cats, you have to earn it. And so it's almost like you feel the impact of their love more because, you know, you had to earn that. They didn't just give it to you off the bat. Yeah, I mean, I respect, uh, I, I, I like, uh, I think one of the things about cats that I like is kind of they can also, they also can just kind of mind their own business and just kind of like, vibe on their own but like dogs dogs are very based on you as a person yeah and well, i that's i, I yeah. kind of prefer dogs like uh i i i love dogs mind you um but like i do see that dogs kind of like rely on their owner a lot and cats cats are kind of like more more kind of like they, they they live on their own and they do their own stuff you well, can use the the flag trails what am I using? oh yeah um well no, behind you behind you oh okay. uh, yeah well that's also the thing where you know with dogs it's like you know i've had enough relationships where the other person relied on me way too much um and that's just what dogs remind me of yeah, like well, that's there. your personal thing. I feel like yeah. that should, you, you can bounce on them. Oh, oh yeah, because you bounce on them. I mean, I, I wouldn't compare animals to people. I feel like that's a really bad well, thing. Well, yeah, I, do. I know, but it's just like, I just feel so much, you know, I mean, and that's a thing with me. I feel if something relies on me so much, I feel responsibility whether it's, you know, my job or not. And so with dogs, I just feel like, I, you know, I like something that, you know, has its own life. And is living its own life, and you know, dogs. It's just like their whole world is you. I mean, yeah, yeah, dogs' whole world is you. Ah, uh, you can use the one over there. Oh yeah, it goes up there. Yay! I don't know, but you kind of can't get past the doofiness of a dog. Well, yeah, no, but cats are no. not as funny as dogs. Oh no, 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 no! I disagree. Cats, I, I... cats, they—they're like just looking at some of the cats are liquid posts. It has that just means I, I say. I'd say, like, in and of itself, cats can be cute. Like, the one video with a girl, and she puts the little flower in the cat's Tony. head. Yeah, and it literally enters, like, an ascension. Like, that stuff's funny. I'd say, like, throughout the day, dogs are funnier. What are you doing? You have See, to jump to the side. What, jump to the it's side? It's over there, to the right. Well, yeah. But can I even do that? Yeah, you can bounce upwards and fly towards it. I guess I just... I need to believe in myself. Yeah. I need to take a leap of faith. Huh, call back. No! No! <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. Ugh. That would be like inspired man. If you yeah, took the exactly. leap of faith see, and then actually just sent head first in oncoming well, traffic. Well, see, okay, so this is up. me before I have like all of the personal transfer. This is when he first tries to jump and he ends up And he dies. And, and, yeah, and no, the movie okay, credits when, roll. Yeah. When he jumps that first time, how did he not get injured at all? He fell on his tailbone. I don't understand. Which scene are you talking about? Um, when he's, you know, like, the big, um, building, the really tall one that he's gonna yeah. jump off of, and then he's like, ah, oh, no, wait, I'm gonna go to the little, littler building, and he tries to go to the oh, littler job. building, um, and then he jumps off it. It's behind you. 
but then he falls. Um, he lands on a flag. Well, yeah, he lands on a flag, but then he lands directly on his... That's how the chip gets broken, because it's in his back uh, pocket. Yeah, and he right. lands on his tailbone, on the asphalt. I don't care if, you know, something broke his fall before then. It still would have messed you uh, up. I mean, it's a cartoon. You can't, you can't take every, like... Yeah. Again, this game would be very different if you took it as per what was. If a little girl went up to a, like, ripped Russian guy with an umbrella, they'd take the umbrella and beat her with it. True. Like, if she was trying to attack, the Hadkin would have zero chance. I don't know. They, they, uh, they're kind of doofy. I mean, I mean, yeah, but their arms are bigger than her entire torso. True. Like, their arms alone are, like, three of her. Yeah. Like, look at them. Okay, first I have to get revenge on that guy who is Oh, like, yeah, you can see if you can kill the patty cake guy. Yeah, the patty cake guy. And then um, I want to help that old dude. Like, from the oh, last yeah. That was getting beaten up. Yeah, because of these levels, there's a lot to do in them besides. There's yeah. uh, eventually these, like, rift things spawn that take you to, like, different levels. But, like, you get hints. Yeah. Like, you only get a picture of where they are, and then you've got to search for them. Yeah, I'm just warning everybody now that I am not going to. So, you know, I understand that you'll probably be angry and you'll be like, Oh, it was right there, the secret, I don't know, the secret chest of Mordor or whatever. Mordor? <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Oh, shut up. Um, um, but no, I am not going to find it. I am going to complete my objective and do other things that just naturally occur yeah. to me. You'll, you'll notice a very big difference. She doesn't play games that much. Yeah. I, I, I on the other I mean, hand, have okay, been playing okay, since okay. I was raised. Um, the Wii? That's what I grew up with. Yeah, so, but you still didn't play it as much as, like, I oh, I, I played well, the Wii. No, I could, beat anybody, I could beat anybody at Mario Kart. Oh yeah, we still got we still gotta do that test. Yeah. Because yeah, I I, I say that's no that, that mm. no. I am I'm a king at Mario. Well, I mean I'm rusty. I have to warn you. I mean the last time I played Mario was in Mario Kart was in August with my little cousin. No, you can't, man. It just it understands that everybody's gonna want to get yeah, revenge. Yeah. This game knows what you want to do. What? I don't get why the birds look like that. Oh, they literally look just like they ate thirst. a balloon. <laughs> like, it literally looks like they swallowed a whole balloon and it was like blown up inside of them. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess a triangle would be a better, you know, base. I, no, I love the designs of the birds. Well, yeah. They're so stupid. These things are awesome. Well, I'm but, trying like, to think if you wanted to simplify a bird into one shape, I think it would be more of a triangle than anything. I don't know. I, I do feel like a circle works. But it's just like, why of all designs did you get? Like, I mean, that's like the perfect design. That's why I say like Kirby's the perfect design. It's just a circle with yeah. feet. That's all you, you need. You like circles. What was the other circle thing that you were talking about? You talked about another circle. Like a like a design for a character. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I forgot what it was. I think it was another video game thing. And you're like, I love them. They're just little circles. I uh, probably. I I have to see it again. I mean, mo like I think simple designs but like simple but cute designs are one of the best video game designs hence the fact that they are simple but yet they, yeah. they i think kirby's design is awesome where it's literally it gets this point across very well, well what about stuff like persona 5 i it's that's not my favorite thing where like i do like cool designs mind you yeah like i i i'm, I'm a big fan of sea based designs <laughs> So. As you hear your friend being tortured in the background. So the scenery, right? And you know, all these hot air balloons. They're just... you, 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 and your friend is literally being murdered. Um, This is my new friend now. Extorted. My, okay, my friend is a brat with a mustache. Yeah. I don't get Ooh, why... I want to kick that guy off the thing. I don't get why you had kids friends with her. She just says, like... She's just like, oh, hey, we're both kids, so we must be friends. Yeah. It's like, you're going to help with my rebellion. Like, like, first we, off, yeah. you're like... You're like eight. Also, we don't know her true intent. Like, she could be the bad guy. We don't know anything about her. You just keep killing people. There's a chest right next to you. Oh! Where? Go back up. See, she's fine. 
I mean, yeah, surprisingly, they're just holding her there. Well, yeah, because like... remember, at the end of it, she just disappears. Yeah. It's like, wow, She just kind of walks away as you fight down. She just, you know, just fades and she does that. And then the thing, she no does questions, the why out. does she have a mustache? Yeah. Like, what? Like, hats are normal, you know? But mustache, how do you yeah. know that? Is it a clip-on mustache? Is it a real mustache? How, how, how did I get up here? I don't, you, you jumped on, so you I jumped used on, the window ledge. No! no! You have to use the other wall. So you jump on the wall to your right, yeah. and then you bounce off. No, your wall to your right. Yes. The wall that, yes, you use that, and then you bounce off that wall. You are sh What? <laughs> do I need to do this? No, you don't. I can do it. I'm a big girl. Is there, is there one loving this? <laughs> okay, you do it. <laughs> Does it flawlessly? No. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, what was that? Well, yeah, what was that? <laughs> yeah, but you didn't do it the first time. Oh, yeah. I never said I was going to do it the first time. I said, I'd do it. <laughs> You're the one who said it doesn't fall asleep the first time. Okay, where's the chest? Right there. Oh, oh you can make the sprint hat. Oh, what does that do? Yeah, just click it. What? Yeah, well, uh, like the hat says, you can sprint. Huh. You can now run around. Should I equip it? Or? Yeah. Okay. I mean, your base head does nothing besides shoot. I was gonna say, does my base head do anything? Hey, um, oh wait, I gotta go visit that guy. Remember? What guy? He gives me a thing? The mysterious guy that you were talking about? Oh, the bad seller. Yeah. I mean, you can find him at any point. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's uh, I he mean, won't disappear. Yeah. He will always be on this level. Okay. He'll, he'll be in every level. Like, you can find the bad guy. Yeah. Cutscene does the not land there. little girl breaks her ankles. Hey, child, shoot! Mafia can't have child weakness when Mafia teaching lesson. Teaching lesson to a child. Yeah, just holding her in the air, and that's really just about it. We're really teaching her a lesson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's awkward for Mafia. Mafia not chose. I love how what sassy Hadkid is. Business? Like, she literally Teacher came to this planet and would just chose violence. Yeah, well, she's also like, down with the Mafia. She seems... Okay, she has true chaotic energy. <laughs> Because, you know, she's in kind of a situation where, you know, oh, this kid says that I should defeat the Mafia with her. Okay, I'm on board, you know? Yeah, she literally just came to this planet instead of being like, nah, I need to focus on getting my stuff to leave. She was like, yeah, I'll take down the Mafia. Yeah. I mean, then again, she kind of tells you, like, oh, I know where you get them, but the Mafia are holding in. But, like, the second you come to this planet, she says, down with the Mafia. So it's like... What are you doing, Atkid? You just came here to be violent. Yeah. You don't talk about an aggressive child. This is her. She just came to this planet and was really just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack. Yeah. Stand still. And that's like everyone. She's just sassy throughout the game, which I love. I, I think Atkid's a great character. Yeah. I mean, sassy is fun, but mustache girl is just. Must stuck yeah, up. mustache girl's just like a spoiled brat. Yeah. I wonder what her backstory is, you know? Uh, I don't think they go into it. I don't remember if they go into Mustache Girl's backstory. I don't think so. I don't think they go into any of the kids' backstory. They go into, like, the Mafia's, the other characters' backstories, but not these two. Not that I know of. No, I think they go into hers a bit. Like, I think she's just lived in this town that's kind of, like, and just been treated poorly by the Mafia. Yeah. You can jump. Well, I mean, like, where are her parents? I, d I don't think they go into that. She just... Maybe. I can't remember Mustache Girl's story. I never paid attention. Oh, I died. I didn't do that last time. Yeah, you, you, you actually did it pretty well last time. And now I gotta do it again. <sighs> Great. It's, it you was the barrels. It was all about the barrels. Nah, th th yeah, as I, as I said last time, there's the death wish mode of this, and like, the, the bosses in the death wish mode get actually crazy. Yeah. 
like, I'll have to show you some videos of people playing, because I doubt we'll do Death Wish in this playthrough. What do you say it's, like, uh, as hard as Cuphead? Barrels. I, uh, no, mmm. They're just, they're, they're two different, like, play styles. You kind of can't compare them. Um, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, in I'd say Cuphead's like, harder. Like, of difficulty. I, I say Cuphead's harder. What's, uh, more difficult? <laughs> ah! What's more difficult, uh, Cuphead or, um... See if girl can handle this like Dark Souls? Dark Souls, yeah. Uh, I'd say in general Cuphead's harder, but if we're counting the hard moments of Dark Souls, they definitely it definitely outclasses Cuphead. Also, I'm, I'm like I've played through all Dark Souls, so like it kind of comes to a point like Dark Souls is fine. Cuphead, I struggled with, but like also it's like Cuphead's not my style of game. I like that that like. Cuphead's not my style. I, I, I'm not a 2D platformer that much. I've played a couple games, but like I didn't grow up like a lot of people. I imagine like a lot of people would find it vice versa. I think it's really based on what you play. Yeah. But like, but I mean, for me, I, I'd say Cuphead in general, but Dark Souls has its moments where it's a lot harder. Like the hard boss fights of Dark Souls are really just... Especially with Bloodborne. Bloodborne, I know it's yeah. not the, a Souls game. It's the same. It's the same people. But like, like if you count some of the the hard bosses, they they go, they go ape mode. I feel like I have a love hate relationship with hard sure games because it's so rewarding when you beat it. Oh yeah. But at I, the same time, you're kind of just like, I don't know if that was fun because it took so much out of me. For, for me, I think it's right, fun. New kid. I play through all the games. The Cuphead, I just couldn't get into. It wasn't my... I, I got, like, halfway through, and I was like, eh, it's alright. That's not my thing. I mean, I was, uh, more into it because of the rubber hose style. Like, yeah, I love the style and the music. Yeah. I, it's it's awesome. Like I I I, I do, I'm not saying anything bad about the game. I, I think it's a great game. It's done really well. It's just not my thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, after this, we should probably we should probably wrap up the first episode. Yeah. I think these two clubs are pretty good. First one. Wait, well, yeah, I have the cuphead. Um. You have the book. Book. Alright, well, we should probably call it here, and then we can continue Wee. it next time. So, thank you all for watching, and we will see you next episode. Whoa, 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 wait. Intruder alert. Well, that's a cliffhanger.